friends we have started the novel around the world in 80 days by julie sohan in the previous video we saw the theme and the plot of the novel in today's video we shall see the synopsis means the short summary of the chapters 34 to 37 in the previous video we have seen that phyllis fog has accepted the bet of completing the travel around the world in 80 days He started his journey on 2nd October 1870 at 8:45 p.m. When Phyllis Fox started his journey, his newly employed valet, Miss Personal Attendant Paspatu is with him. While returning, Auda is also with him. It means Phyllis Fox, Auda and Paspatu are returning England. As soon as Fox Auta and Paspatu arrive in Liverpool fix arrest fog why because he suspects Phyllis Fogg as a robber detective fix has followed him all over the travel now he has the warrant to arrest the robber from the legal authority of England so he arrests fog thinking that he is a robber phyllis is thrown in jail After several hours, Fix learns that Phyllis Fogg is not a robber. Another person is the robber. Fix had arrested Phyllis Fogg because his physical appearance resembled to the actual robber. And also, it was the coincidence that soon after the bank robbery, Phyllis Fogg had left for the journey. So, the detective Fix thought that Fogg has robbed the bank and so he is pretending to go around the world to escape from the clutches of police When the detective Fix comes to know that Fogg is not a robber but another person has robbed the bank he releases Fogg Fogg has to reach London in the scheduled time means in 80 days so he orders a special train still he arrives in london late everyone is disappointed because the deadline for the bet has passed phyllis fog goes home and locks himself in his room phyllis fog is a cool person but for the first time in life he is depressed Auta and Paspatu are so worried that they can't eat or sleep. That evening, Fogg apologizes to Auta. For what? Because now he is unable to provide her comfort as he has lost the bet now. She is loving and generous. She proposes Fogg for marriage and he joyfully agrees. Paspatu goes to engage a clergyman. He runs off to get a reverend to marry Fogg and Auda the next day. Paspatu, Phyllis Fogg and Auda think that the next day is Monday. While running to grab the nearest preacher for the marriage of Fogg and Auda, Paspatu finds out that it's actually Sunday and not Monday. Means the next day is Sunday, it's not Monday. By traveling eastward around the world, Phyllis Fogg had gained time. Phyllis Fogg is a master calculator and obsessive organizer. Still he has forgotten the time he has gained by journeying through all those time zones. Now he learns that their journey through the different time zones had gained them a day. and that they are not at all late means they have reached london in time paspatu rushes home grabs phyllis by the collar shoes him into a cab and deposits him at the club phyllis presents himself with minutes to spare and effectively wins the bet he is rich once more but more important for him is that he has won the heart of a charming woman miss auda the mistake of counting the days is the surprising point it's the turning point of the story how is the mistake of counting the days and how has fog gained a day let us see 
fox traveled constantly eastward in this eastward journey he had gone towards the sun and the days therefore diminished for him as many times for 4 minutes as he crossed degrees in this direction there are 360 degrees on the circumference of the earth and this 360 degrees into 4 gives precisely 24 hours means the whole day unconsciously gained in other words while going eastward phileas fogg saw the sun pass the meridian 80 times while his friends of the reform club saw it pass the meridian 79 times therefore there was a difference of one day fox watch was not set to london time he kept on his watch changing it as he traveled means fox watch was not set to london time he kept on his watch changing it as he traveled means fox changed his watch according to the time in that particular country but passepartout's watch was set to london time however his watch did not show the date in addition to the time so he mistook that it was monday and not sunday dear students here we have seen the synopsis of the chapters 34 35 36 37 in this novel around the world in 80 days there are 37 chapters in total in your syllabus you have to study the chapters 34 to 37 means four chapters now we shall see the character sketch of the major characters major characters in this novel are phileas fogg passepartout auda and detective fitz first we shall see the character of phileas fogg phileas fogg is the protagonist in the novel around the world in 80 days he is a wealthy gentleman he is brave determined and tolerant as the power of adjustment perseverance and the ability of quick thinking he is precise and a cool person he accepts the challenge to go around the world in 80 days to accomplish this feat he goes through various lands and meets with diverse adventures he completes his journey overcoming all the obstacles before his journey he lives a solitary life but in his journey he rescues a passy indian princess auda and wins her heart he understands the importance of human relationships during his journey then passepartout passepartout is one of the major characters in the novel around the world in 80 days he is a newly employed french valet means the personal attendant of phileas fogg he is a comic person and becomes dear to the readers with his good sense of humor he accompanies phileas fogg in the journey around the world he accepts fogg as his master in this journey he faces all the obstacles and is loyal and obedient to him when fogg is arrested passepartout thinks that he is the cause of his misfortune then auda auda is a parsi indian princess she is the daughter of a parsi merchant and is married to an old raja of bundelkhand against her will she is forced to sacrifice her life as a sati after the death of her old husband thus she has a very difficult time in india she is very much grateful and thankful to fogg and passepartout for saving her auda is strong and courageous she accompanies fogg and passepartout in their journey she is a very loving caring and beautiful woman she is kind hearted she blames herself for being the cause of delay in fogg's return to london she is ready to marry fogg even though he has lost the wager and has no money then detective fix detective fix follows fog all over the travel he believes that fog is the bank robber who has robbed a great sum from the bank of england he puts obstacles in fog's path 
just so that he can arrest him whenever he gets the warrant from the legal authority of England. He arrests Fogg as a part of his duty, but releases him when he comes to know that Fogg is not robber. Dear students, here is the end of part 2. In the next video, we shall see the detailed explanation of the chapters 34 to 37.